Hi, this is Tony Rogers with the Products by Design podcast, where product development industry experts share their insight. It is six questions in nine minutes because product development experts are busy and want to get right to the point. So let's get started. In a few sentences, please tell us who you are and what you do. Uh, my name is Dan Doman. I'm the engineering manager at Smithco Side Dump Trailers. Uh, we make the industry leading side dump semi trailers, and I oversee a team of about eight people dedicated to product design as well as process design and engineering uh, for our trailers. So these are full size tractor trailer size side dump. Yep, side, yep, it dumps out the side and full size going down the road up to, uh, we've had some over 50 feet long. Wow, so. interesting. Well, hey, what's the best thing about being in product development? I really enjoy the challenge of designing something that we've never done before, um, but yet a, a team of people together and take our customers' challenge and what they're working towards and come up with a custom design specifically to meet their needs. Uh, it comes with a lot of challenges, but ultimately when you see that final product rolling out the door or you get a call from the customer saying, hey, we got these trailers and they're working great, better than we ever thought they would, that, that's really what makes product design worth it to me. It feels good, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so I, uh, companies are always telling me that they're looking to either accelerate product development, increase innovation, and or improve the handoff from design to manufacturing. Tell me your thoughts. I definitely think that just continuous improvement and, and always looking for ways to make your design better is important. Um, this year, we've actually increased our staffing to improve our R&D and really try and tackle that. We pride ourselves in being innovative. And sometimes within our industry, um, we're, we're kind of the biggest fish in our industry. So what that means is sometimes we have to work with suppliers to come up with a product specifically marketed to our industry to solve some of the problems that otherwise uh, there might not be a good solution out there. So um, it's, it's a good problem to have. Um, mm -hmm. We're working with our great suppliers um, and we were just out to Con Expo earlier this year and uh, made some great connections to help continue push our design forward. I always like to hear when people are hiring. That's a good thing. Yeah. So tell me what other industry experts like yourself should be on the products by design podcast. You know, I don't have any specific, you know, well-known names or anything like that. I've certainly worked with a lot of good people in my industry um, over the years. I, I think there's a lot of really cool product development going on um, in like the mining industry and agricultural industry where our trailers are being used. Um, some of the things that they're doing, uh, you know, there's autonomous mining trailers that they're working on that can haul 50 tons of material and things like that. So I think there's a, some really good people uh, in there. I don't necessarily have names to throw out right now, but uh, we can certainly, I can certainly look through and try and get some recommendations. Hey, that's, that's great. Thank you. Uh, so what insights would you like to share with other product manufacturers? You know, one of the things that I would say uh, that can hurt companies is sometimes companies become a slave to some of the rules and things that they want to do. Um, there are certain ideas that should be guiding principles. You know, I think of like lean manufacturing, 5S, Six Sigma, or just in time manufacturing, and they're great principles. And applying them where they make sense is great for a company. It can really help a company improve. But I also have seen businesses get handcuffed and become kind of a slave to the ideal um, where it doesn't meet every application. And it just doesn't make business sense. Um, I think the same can be true in design as well, where you have design standards and practices and things like that. But you have to understand what they're there for and when you can work around them and when you need to apply them and things like that. I just I think sometimes people can be too much of a slave to the rules that they establish, which they rule and the intent is great, but you can't let that rule your business. Awesome. That's very, very insightful. Thank you. So uh, tell me, what's the craziest thing you've seen in product development? Honestly, one of the, the craziest things I've seen is there was a company that we were working with that um, part of the company, the management had made the decision to cut a project, but they didn't tell the people that were working on the project. So they continued to work and develop and spend, you know, hours and hours of engineering time over like three months. And we were working with the one company and basically they, they said, you know, don't worry about putting any more time to it, but they didn't tell the team that. And so to me, it's just when a wow. business becomes too much of a 
bureaucracy and it gets swallowed up and stuff like that. That to me is just crazy. I think you have to be lean, productive, um, and just really do what makes sense for, for your company and just kind of always have that, well, what's the, what's the best thing for the company in the long term? Hey, and, and, and communication. I mean, that was, that was just a, a prime example of bad communication. And that's something we hear about all the time here that uh, helps projects move forward. Nothing, nothing more than communication. Yeah, we were actually on a team where one side of it knew it, one side of the company knew it, but the other side didn't. So we were kind of sworn to secrecy as they were just kept asking us for updates on it. We're like, well, we haven't done anything on it the last couple of weeks. So, but uh, wow. yeah, just it gets ridiculous sometimes what happens in some of those hey, uh, com great. companies. Well, so. thank you. Uh, hey, that's all the time we have. Thank you for being on. Uh, let people know how they can find you if they'd like to. Oh, absolutely. Our uh, product, uh, you can find it at sidedump.com. Um, we have a great page there. We just redid the website with Learning Center and stuff like that. So if people want to learn about our industry and product and things like that, they can go there, check it out, and you can contact us from there. So it's just sidedump.com. Dan, thank you so much. It was great. Hey, this, yes, is, Tony Ro no, no problem. <laughs> this is Tony Rogers with the Products by Design podcast, where product development industry experts share their insight. It's six questions in nine minutes because product development experts are busy and want to get right to the point. For more insight and ideas, please go to creativemechanisms.com.